These stairs are what leads down to the jail. I believe uh, four claims now um, between uh, knee injuries, a uh, compound fracture from a deputy, and uh, another officer that's blown a knee out. You can about imagine trying to bring a combative person down these stairs, and we've had to do that, and it's just becoming more and more of an issue. And plus, we're a public building, and uh, our ADA compliancy um, needs to be um, brought up to date. What I'll take you down to first is going to be cell two. This is what is referred to as the female cell, or if we have too many males, um, we transfer the females out. Then the restroom is in this area. And this is the biggest cell um, uh, that we have. We have we have four beds in this uh, facility um, here. You see the paints coming off of the walls. When we have rain, and we haven't had it this year, um, but when we do have a lot of rain, um, these walls um, have water leaking in, and uh, it just keeps popping the paint off, and. Uh, we basically, on heavy rains, have to take a squeegee. If you look at the floor and see how the paint's coming off of it, we squeegee the water on the floor drains to try and uh, uh, just get it cleaned up. And on wet years, it becomes a real humidity problem down here. I know a lot of people have been frustrated about um, listening about the cost of a stool, but uh, putting in plumbing and heating, um, they take care of our, our plumbing needs here. And this particular stool has the stool, the sink, and a water faucet all included. And it's all tamper-proof. And, and it does come to that um, $5,000 um, figure. This represents the hub of the 911 system in Antelope County. This is our main control center that uh, pretty much takes care of all of our 911 calls. All radio transmissions coming in and going out. I think pretty much all of our firemen know that super glue and plastic creates a very deadly uh, smoke and a very deadly poison that can overcome you quickly. And that's another concern that we've got with um, the fire marshal wanting to get a fire suppression system. And as you can see, this is at the very bottom of the stairs. This is the direction the girls will have to come in order to come down to. Uh, release the prisoners to let them out if we would have a fire. Water, water issues. This uh, drains but it, it backs up for a while and then the water goes away. We, we've had a lot of water issues in this too so we have to be careful what we put in there but once again it's been a dry year so we haven't had near the battle that we've had on the wet years of trying to keep the, uh, the building uh, dry. This is the entry to the sheriff's office. Um, we're, we're trying to get this redone um, to hang up some more coats and stuff. Uh, this is the side the public greets the dispatcher from. And uh, the glass was installed just because when we bring somebody through these doors, not always are they cooperative and they're trying to be nice and work with us. So we had to kind of box in the dispatch. The 911 center, I think uh, the to set it all up and everything was like $118,000. So to have somebody um, get in the middle of that and bust stuff up, we could really have a major expenditure. Two different um, towers, if you will, here of uh, um, 911. Um, and what they do is uh, if uh, we get multiple calls, th this one is the one it'll go to right away because this is the main dispatch area. That's the second one. Or if one system would happen to go down, this the second one backs it up. As 911 and everything's growing, we're getting crunched tighter and tighter. This is the visitation area and kitchen. If you see how close the dispatch center is, all the information that's revealed at the dispatch center is also heard by the people that are visiting family and friends. And uh, that, that gets us into another issue um, with HIPAA. This addition was put on 
I believe during uh, Ralph Black's uh, term as sheriff. And uh, as you can see, we, we needed a place to go with filing cabinets and uh, a lot of the official documents and stuff. And uh, we're just uh, we're just growing and and we're we're slowly getting uh, pushed out of uh, our, our our space, if you will, because we got to continue to keep files and continue to keep these things um, handy because we have other agencies that may call and we have to pull a file or information or possibly even the mugshot at the time when the person was booked in. So it, it isn't like we can store them at another um, area.